Hello, my dear friends. Let's go with this topic clocks. In this clocks, okay, we are going to discuss different concepts like angle between hands. Okay, when the hands are right angle, when the hands are going to coincide, when the hands are opposite. Here, hands in the sense we are discussing only hour hand and minute hand. Shorter one is hour hand, the longer one minute hand. So here our focus is on minute hand and hour hand only. Angle between hands means they are asking angle between minute hand and hour hand. When the hands are coincide means we should consider minute hand and hour hand coinciding related. Right? So, and what are the different concepts we will see in the next slide. Second hand we are not considering, minute hand and hour hand. And let's see the different concepts what we are going to learn. Here also you can observe, I mentioned only minute hand and hour hand. The longer one, you know it's a minute hand. The shorter one is nothing but hour hand. One o'clock, this is representing the clock, is representing one o'clock. Right. So the concepts what we are going to learn in this topic is angle between hands, angle between minute hand and hour hand here. Angle between hands in the sense, angle between minute hand and hour hand. Next, together are coincide. So what is this together are coincide is, when both hands, minute hand and hour hand, both are coinciding. Okay, one is minute hand, one is hour hand, let's say, the smaller one. So when these two are coincide, when these two will form a right angle, okay, for 90 degrees, right angle required. Right angle required 90 degrees. When these two are going to coincide, when these two are opposite, minute hand and hour hand, those all, this is regarding minute hand and hour hand only. Then mirror time. So, normal time, suppose 1 o'clock. In mirror, what is the time it will show? In mirror, it is 1 o'clock. What is the correct time? Okay, so you are seeing a watch without numbers in the mirror, it is showing certain time. Then, what is the correct time? If correct time is so and so without numbers in the watch, if you see that in the mirror, what is the time it is showing? And in incorrect time, the watch may be fast, the watch may be slow. Related to that, we will discuss the questions in incorrect time. Okay, right. Now let's see regarding angle between hands, my dear friends. So if you want to enter into angle between hands, one point you just try to keep in mind. Hover hand and minute hand, both we need to consider. Angle between hands, okay, if you want to understand this concept, angle between hands. They will give certain time in the question. Suppose 4 o'clock is the time. 4 o'clock is the time. So at 4 o'clock, what is the question you need to understand properly? At 4 o'clock, minute hand is at 12, hour hand is at 4. Minute hand here. Our hand here, right? The angle between hands is this is what they are asking. Theta angle between hands, this angle you need to calculate. Theta. Okay, angle between hands. If it is 4 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, if they ask, some time will be mentioned in the question. What is the angle between hands? Sometimes they'll mention time is 5:15. Time is 5:15. What is the angle between hands also they can ask you. The time is 5.15. Okay, AM or PM. Fine. Or they will mention indirectly 15 minutes past 5. 15 minutes past 5 is nothing but 5.15. Okay, at 5.15, what is the angle between hands if they ask? So, minute hand is exactly at 3. Our hand is 5. And slightly okay, crossing that 5 because 515 at 5 o'clock, the hour hand is exactly at 5. Now 515 slightly it will move from 5. 5 here slightly it is moving away. Now angle between hands is nothing but this. The angle between these two hands is what we have to calculate. That's what angle between hands. First of all, you have to understand what is the question. And here how we are doing the approach is with respect to 12, with respect to 12, 
minute hand is how much angle moved that's what theta m we have, we have to say theta m with respect to 12 o'clock minute hand how much angle moved how much angle created then with respect to 12 o'clock 12 o'clock is the reference with respect to 12 o'clock hover hand is how much angle created then difference between the hover hand and minute hand is what angle between hands how we are doing directly instead of doing directly angle between hands the easy way of doing here is calculate hour hand angle with respect to 12 calculate minute hand angle with respect to 12 the difference between these two is nothing but angle between hands sometimes minute hand may be more than hour hand okay sometimes hour hand may be more than minute hand so it depends on that that's why we are using the modulus here now you have a doubt sir how to calculate the minute hand angle how to calculate the hour hand angle sir fine we agree we have to go ahead with the hour hand angle and minute hand angle fine but how to calculate minute hand angle how to calculate hour hand angle is the doubt sir fine we'll discuss that as well so i hope you got the clarity what you need to do right now let's see see for minute hand angle it's very simple if you want to calculate minute hand angle minute theta m minute hand angle theta m if you want to calculate see for one full cycle one full cycle or one full turn 360 degrees for one full turn for the minute hand minute hand it want to rotate one full round it requires 60 minutes 60 minutes is required to complete one full cycle by the minute hand minute hand to complete one full round it requires 60 minutes so in one minute it is going to create six degrees okay in one minute it will create six degrees angle this will help us to calculate minute hand angle whereas hover hand angle if you want to focus hover hand angle it required 12 hours 12 hours to complete one full cycle so understand our hand required 12 hours to complete one full cycle 360 degrees see in one hour how much angle it is going to create is 30 degrees 30 degrees is the angle created by the hour hand in one hour one hour it is creating 30 degrees angle good but let's see guys at four o'clock at four o'clock we can find our hand is at four but at 4 30 our hand is between four and five it is not at four it is between four and five it is moving at four o'clock it is exactly at four but at 4 30 our hand is between four and five in between four and five right so our hand is moving with respect to minutes as well so here you should understand in one minute one hour means 60 minutes right in 60 minutes it is going to create 30 degrees in one minute it will create half degree so two points you require related to our hand is in one hour how much angle is going to be created in one minute how much angle is going to be created minute hand okay one minute six degrees whereas our hand each hour 30 degrees each minute half degree it is going to create so keep in mind minute hand how much angle for one minute our hand two things you should consider each hour and each minute some of you have a doubt sir what about minute hand one hour minute hand one hour means 60 minutes 60 minutes means 360 degrees means equal to zero in minute hand in each hour how much no need to consider it's equal to zero 360 degrees can be considered zero degrees you come to the same point you started here you complete 360 degrees clockwise or anti-clockwise you come to the same point <coughs> so it's nothing but equal to zero in minute hand angle if you want to go ahead each minute how much six degrees that's sufficient whereas in our hand each hour and each minute you have to go ahead right you can find the summary here each minute 
how much it is going to create many times whereas our hand each hour and each minute how much angle is created you can understand that right one minute six degrees this is one hour 30 degrees one minute half degree for our hand these two are related to our hand right now before going for the questions so one more point you should get update is see sometimes they'll mention in the question 10 minutes to 4 o'clock if they mention 10 minutes to 4 o'clock it's nothing but the time is 3 50. 10 minutes to 4 o'clock means 3 50. 10 minutes past 4 o'clock means 4 10. Just try to understand 10 minutes past 4 o'clock is different part of the game, which is 4 10. 10 minutes to 4 is 3 50. So understand the difference 4 10 and 3 50 here. Right. Now, angle between hands, this angle, angle between the hands, what is the upper hand angle, what is the minute hand angle, difference between those two is nothing but called angle between hands. That is with respect to 12, with respect to 12, okay, how much is minute hand created from 12, how much angle it's traveled and upper hand travel, how much with respect to 12. Okay, clock will go in this way only. Don't say this way clock will rotate, right? So this way only we are finding angle. With respect to 12, from there to here, what is the angle created by our hand? And with respect to 12, what is the angle created by minute hand? Right. Now we'll see the questions one by one. Now see the first question. An accurate arm clock. This is correct clock. If it is fast or slow, that's last one, incorrect time or incorrect clock. Fourth model we are going to discuss. Here is the first model where we are discussing angle between hands. An accurate clock shows 8 o'clock in the morning, means 8 a.m. Okay, fine. How many degrees the hour hand rotated if it shows 2 o'clock in the afternoon? So 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. means 6 hours. 6 hours. For your kind information here, they're asking only hover hand angle. They're not asking minute hand angle. They clearly mention how many degrees hover hand rotates. How much is the angle created by the hover hand? So each hour 30 degrees as the six hours, 16 to 30, we'll get 180 degrees. Option B is correct one. 180 degrees is the answer, my dear friends. Right. Now, see the next question. I hope you understand. Okay, they're asking our hand angle only. Now, let's move for the next question. 10 minutes past 5 means 5.10. Time is 5.10. Okay. Here, they're asking our hand angle. Here also they are not asking angle between hands, they are asking our hand angle only, theta h. Now the reference is 12 o'clock already I mentioned 12. The clock is started at noon, means 12 o'clock is the reference. Whether they mention or not by default with respect to 12 o'clock. Okay, so what is the our hand angle created is each hour 30 degrees as it is 5 hours, 5 into 30 each hour. Each minute half degree, as this 10 minutes, each minute half degrees we have to go, it's 155 degrees medium. Minutes. Just check it out, we got 155 degrees. Hover hand angle, this is only hover hand angle. Okay, in hover hand angle, two points are there. Each hour 30 degrees, each minute half degree. Clear? Right. Now this is the question, 15 minutes past 5, angle between the hands, angle between the hands means theta, this may be difference between theta m and theta h, we should give always positive the angle between these two, sometimes minute hand may be more than our hand, sometimes our hand may be more than minute hand, right, now 5.15 is the time, 5.15 is the time. 
So here first I will calculate minute hand. For minute hand only one thing we have to calculate. How many minutes? Hours or we can consider as zero degrees. For one hour 60 minutes. 60 minutes means minute hand will complete one full cycle. Means it come to same place. It's like zero degrees. So don't consider hours. Minutes only. In minute hand each minute 6 degrees as this 15 minutes 15 into 6 90 degrees is the minute hand angle whereas hour hand angle 5 hours is mentioned each hour 30 so 5 into 30 then each minute half degree 15 into half which is 150 plus 7.5 157.5 degrees so this is minute hand angle, this is hour hand angle. So now you have to calculate difference between those two and put in positive side. Do that in a positive side. So theta is nothing but if you take difference between these two, 157.590 we will get 67.5. Option A, angle between the hands is 67.5. So each minute how much, each hour how much. Right. See, some questions you can do directly as well, sir. Why this formula and all? I don't want any formula. Or maybe this each minute and each hour, what is happening? Can I do directly? Yes. If you have, okay, basic thought of one full cycle is 360 degrees, one full cycle 360 degrees, then you can solve directly also. Suppose, my dear friends, time is 8.30. Time is 8.30, clock is showing time 8.30. Now what is the angle between hands? What is the angle between hands? Now see this question, it is 8.30. Okay, for example, in question they mentioned 8.30. Now what is the angle between hands? Directly you can do, with formula also, formula in a sense we discussed now. Okay, each minute, minute and how much angle each hour like that also you can do. Now 8.30 in the sense minute hand is exactly at 6. This is 7, 8. 8.30 means hour hand is between 8 and 9. Right. Now listen, the question is actually what is the angle between these two right? So this is the one you have to calculate. Okay, now focus. See, one full cycle 360 degrees. You have 12 parts. You have 12 parts, this entire divided into 12 parts. 360 degrees divided by 12, 30 degrees. See, 6 to 7, it is 30 degrees. 7 to 8 is 30 degrees. 8.30 means minute hand, hour hand is exactly between 8 and 9. Means here 15 degrees will come. As it is 8.30, I can definitely say hour hand is exactly in middle of 8 and 9. So we will get 15 degrees there. We divided this into 12 parts. I hope you know that. This entire can be divided into 12 parts. Let's say 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. We divided entire into 12 parts. So 360 degrees divided by 12, we got 30 degrees. Each part is 30, 30 like that we can consider. Right? So here to here 30, here to here 30, here it is 15. Now you can directly say what is the angle is 75 degrees adding all this. Or else, with respect to 12, with respect to 12, calculate what is the angle created by our hand, what is the angle created by minute hand, the difference between those two is what angle between hands. Clear? Angle inclined between the hands or angle between the hands is same, but reflex angle, next one small update, reflex angle with that. Angle between hands will complete with these five questions. 
So if you go to the geometry basics, reflex angle, the basic definition of acute angle is, acute angle means angle must be between 0 and 90. Obtuse angle 90 and 120, whereas reflex angle must be, the basic definition is it must be between 180 and 360. Reflex angle must be between 180 and 360. It's more than 180 and less than 360. Reflex angle must be. Right. Now, first for this 1025, for 1025, calculate the angle between hands. Calculate angle between hands. I'm sure angle between hands, we don't get more than this. Okay, first calculate angle between hands. So first minute hand is, as time is 1025, 25 minutes, each minute 6 degrees, we'll get 150. Whereas hour hand, two things we should consider, each hour 30 degrees, each minute half degree. If you calculate, we got 312.5. Now angle between hands is difference between these two. Which is nothing but 162.5 degrees. This is angle between hands, my dear friends. But this is not in the range of reflex angle. Reflex angle must be greater than 180, less than 360. Now, if you want greater than 180 and less than 360, here it is 162.5. Here, what you should do 360 degrees minus angle between hands, you apply 360 degrees. Minus angle between hands, 162.5 to do, we'll get 197.5. This is what angle, the flex angle, 197.5. I'll just represent this in terms of diagram as well, how to handle. Let's see the diagram also. Here is 162.5 is the angle between hands. Here. Now let's go with the diagram. What is that reflex angle? 1025. 10.25 So minute hand is here. Right, so hover hand 1025 means it's between 10 and 11 actually. Hover hand will be here. Between 10 and 11, hover hand will be here. Right, so now what they are asking, this is what theta, angle between hands. This is with respect to 12, what is the hover hand angle? What is the minute hand angle difference between these two? The reflex angle is the one which we are calculating this one. This is what reflex angle we have calculated. Right, so 1025. So first we calculated this and the remaining part, this part is what reflex angle we did. Got it? Right? So this is about that model one angle between hands, my dear friends. I hope you are clear with this.